This right here is screaming everything that I think. What's crazy is that we see gas prices go up from $1 to $4, then it drops back down to $2.50, and we're happy it's at $2.50, even though it's $1.50 more than what it used to be. The same thing is happening with interest rates. We saw rates go from 2.5%, 3%, all the way up to 6.5%, 7%. And then they dropped a little bit down to about 6 and a quarter, and people got excited again. Well, now they've shot back up to 7%. And I can see that staying at 7% through the start of next year. But what are they gonna do? They're gonna drop them back down to 6%. And the buyers are gonna go crazy and they're gonna get out there and start buying homes again. And then all of a sudden, they're comfortable with that 6% again. In all reality, it'd be great if they were 5%. 6% is still a good rate and historically so is seven. But what we're seeing is the same thing happen over and over. It's manipulation of our minds. Let's raise it a whole bunch drop it just a little bit and make everybody happy again. All the while, we're paying more money. So for the remainder of 2023, we're gonna see a pretty steady market. Nothing crazy up, nothing crazy down. We're gonna see buyers out there doing what they do, buying homes at that 7% rate, maybe with the hope that it'll drop down below 6% and they can just refi. But right now, we're looking at home prices staying steady. And in 2024, when they start to adjust those rates again, we're gonna see a crazy market.